Hey friend, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is the third in my four week blogging series to help you grow your tutoring business using a blog. Today's video is gonna be all about five blogging mistakes you're probably making. And I know this to be true because at one point in time I was making these mistakes as well. And my goal for you in this video is to stop making them and fix them, which I'll be giving some solutions along the way. If you missed the previous two videos about blogging in this series, I encourage you to go back and watch them because they have valuable content that leads up to this one today. Let's jump right in. Number one, you probably don't have a system in place. So every week when you sit down to write a blog post, you're willy nilly about it and you don't have a strategy. Coming up with content ideas can be tricky at first, but once you get the hang of it, I promise you, you will get better at it. And over time, you'll get to a place where you can map out your entire year of content in a couple hours time. I know because I did that myself this year, and it's so freeing to know what you're going to be blogging about ahead of time. It's also a really great idea to kind of have a roadmap along the way of what you're going to be talking about so that things are tied together and not just at random. My number two tip is you don't have a niche. Okay, so that's one mistake you're probably making if you are treating your blog like a journal entry or just randomly posting about stuff, then you're going to be confusing your potential ideal customer and that's not a good thing. So sticking within your niche. If your tutoring business is all about reading and writing, then pick topics that will align with your niche. If you're doing that, then you're really going to draw in your ideal client and you'll be surprised how much blogging can really move your business along if you stick with it. All right, number three, you're overthinking everything. Just be you. Your perfect grammar does not have to exist on your blog. I don't mean have a bunch of spelling errors or punctuation errors. What I simply mean is use your own voice. When we read somebody's blog post, we typically like blogs that have the voice of someone that sounds like us. If you're trying to sound super professional, then you might be turning some people off and just be you. So again, go with your own voice, make it conversational. A trick I've heard some other people use is making a voice memo inside of your phone with a blog post idea and then later transcribing it. And that way you can make the grammatical errors go away, but you're also using your own natural voice, which really sounds so much better than a robot. Okay, our next one, number four, you're not posting consistently. To grow your audience, you have to show up. It's like your job in a way. If you're a teacher like me, if I just pop up once a week, are my kids going to learn anything? Probably not. I'm not saying you have to write a blog post every day. The analogy just really is showing up consistently is going to help your business grow over time. And if you don't have a strategy in place, then you're not being consistent. And that's how those mistakes kind of tie together. And once you get your content strategy under control, you will start showing up more consistently and growing your email list, which is next on my list of things you need to be doing when thinking about blogging because you can share your blog every week with your email list, which is something I do on Mondays with my list. All right, the last one, number five, not mapping out your content. I kind of alluded to this one already, but you should know at least one month ahead of time what you're going to be blogging about. And so it helps you when you sit down to write those blog posts, what you're going to focus on. And it's a strategy that I teach my students inside of my courses because I'm a big believer in being prepared and taking some of the stress out for you uh, by having those things mapped out ahead of time. Okay, so those are five mistakes you're likely making in your blog, but you can fix them today. And go back to the other two videos I've already done about blogging and make sure you take really good notes. And I promise you, your business will start growing if you start blogging consistently and doing all the right things things. If you'd like to learn more about starting your own tutoring business, but have no clue where to begin, you need to grab my free 10 step guide, which I'll link in the description box below. It'll give you the first 10 steps in order of everything you need to do. And you can check everything off with journal pages included. 
I hope this video will help you grow your business with your blog. Please give it a like and a thumbs up and also subscribe to my channel so you can be the first to know when I have new content out just for you. Thanks so much for watching.